Hello there Taurus, welcome to your reading. This is your energy forecast for the week of 26th of August until the 2nd of September. Let's get started. Uh, who or what is coming towards Taurus? You can feel free to turn the rules around or um, apply this to someone in your energy, any part of this message. The moon, the moon is divine feminine something that is hidden perhaps you are needing to move with, with your intuition here or you've had to move in the dark or you feel like you're having to you see when the moon as opposed to the sun coming out is saying that stuff is being illuminated here for you in the dark right it's not out there in the sunlight so the moon could also be shadow work. It feels emotional. It feels sensitive. The judgment card is here. So this is major awakening. Could be some judgment calls here or some situations from the past coming back around and you're having to judge what it is that you want to go in forward eight of wands so this is like really fast movement whatever judgment calls that you're making it feels like you're having to make it fast um a movement five of wands and transformation so this moves that are going on could be in the form of text messages phone calls i'm getting revelations for you and these revelations are happening as awakenings for you. It feels like you've had to move in the dark here regarding a lot that try to keep you in the shadows. There are energies that have tried to hold you down in the shadows. I've picked that up for you, I think, in the last one or two readings. And it's like where your destiny is to be in that alignment of the moon and the sun some yeah some really could be connected to the past and now them coming back around in some capacity you are discerning for yourself the answers of course not pushing to get answers here but you are receiving the answers that you need now the only thing to be aware of here is Again, because it's to do with the moon energies, how we can push ourselves to get answers. But the answers will come to you at the right time. The moon and judgment are major arcanas, which means that this is going to happen. It's, it's going to happen. You're going to be seen. You're going to be revealed. What has cost you to be in in conflict now these situations also you may have had clash of values or there could be some situations coming up here where there are clash of values conflicts in terms of like ideas okay three of pentacles so this is to do with the collaboration there could be a workplace situation as well with the five of wands and three of pentacles it's giving me like yeah that thing of could be a whole collaboration here mm. at the bottom of the deck the empress venus and you are showing up a shift a major shift that is going on for you expansion let's see what the moon is saying the world saturn for some reason i'm seeing the moon three of pentacles and i'm getting jupiter so jupiter is an expansion the moon also can act like jupiter where it does expand on everything for us 
So both the negatives, the positives, and everything in between, right? Hmm. And this is so helpful because you see your Taurus, it has to do, it's the second house of potential. So whatever is being expanded for you right now could feel sensitive. But then it's also, I'm not getting it to be a heavy energy. It doesn't feel really heavy. It just feels like one where you are having to work harder to keep your focus on what you are creating. So this is a lot to do with your creativity, um, your fulfillment, your world. So the moon and the world. These are two planets, right? And the earth and the moon. So this is also showing something that is happening that is beyond you. Nine of Cups. A wish fulfillment or staying in the wish fulfilled is about confidence. It's like in all of this, you are holding up a high vibration judgment ace of wands yeah talk about high vibration and we see ace of wands judgment again double judgment this is a major resurrection of yourself it's like you are coming out with a bang like yeah this is what I'm getting it's your time to shine and yeah this song uh, I'm coming out I want the world to know got to let it show yeah but it's it's not like it's not shouting it's could be, could be with these two judgment energies and the ace of wands together with the nine of cups. You know where you've been held down for so long and then finally it's released. It's a kind of a, not a domino, what do we call it? A catapult. Yeah, it's a catapult effect that I'm getting for you here. And this is coming, is backed up by the eight of wands you're being catapulted out of what tried to stagnate you what tried to keep you in a toxic place have you ever seen a baby in a womb it stays for nine months it's about to come out but then there are a lot of energies that have tried to keep that baby in there and now it's coming out it's overgrown it's outgrown and overgrown what was keeping it safe or what was there to keep it safe you're being catapulted out of the shadows Eight of Wands, the Magician, Mercury, this is a lot to do with creativity. You could have many ideas coming to you, a lot of ideas here, like get ready because I feel like they're going to be coming in bulk. Five of Swords. The Five of Swords can be seen as, you see that cross, so something to do with the shadows again. So there could be a conflicting situation going on here. The number five is to do with the past for 
looks like you're going to be having a lot of ideas come to you and you're going to have to sit with it five five so this is a lot of changes going on the three of cups this is cause this is expansion three 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 gosh this is a lot going on for you queen of swords libra gemini aquarius this is also about justice truth perhaps you are needing to be really light here or there could be a situation here that is trying to come back around and is meeting you in this queen of swords energy three of pentacles what do we have three of swords whoa and temperance sagittarius five of cups five 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 so there's still like a lot of um and when i say there is still it's not really to say there's a timeline for this it feels like there is some grieving going on you could find yourself here sitting with pain yeah you see the three of swords five of swords is given sitting with pain um but then you are still creating it's like you're definitely still in your creativity in your movement when i see the queen of swords and now this coming together with three of cups and five of wands feels like you've had to you're a survivor here you're a survivor of conflict the queen of swords has gone through a lot and they've learned to call in the truth they've they are what i would call stern so it's learning every now and then to lower the guard or whatever they feel is a guard but then it's like what they learn to do or what they come to understand is that maybe they don't need to lower their guard but it's not so much being rigid it's somehow being rigid but then it's always reminding themselves of what is true so this could be regarding a group with five of wands and three of cups it could be regarding a group maybe a family friends or even a workplace i see three of cups three of pentacles so could be both situations now temperance is coming as grace flow it's like you've definitely become the queen of swords as a result of all this stuff that has happened to you or that yeah that have been done to you you could be stepping up as this queen of swords with judgment judgment this is like a lot to do with truth like come to me with the truth or do not come at all you could be in some kind of politics or just in general able to judge situations from a place of clarity so perhaps you are needing to judge situations here from that place of clarity this means you're, you're sitting with you're sitting with pain hmm you're sitting with pain and for me this shows um, a highly sensitive person's journey 
and how that can cause like autoimmune i'm really picking up autoimmune here for some of you so that could be significant um this is major expansion in your world feels like you're having victory with all of this you are a victor you're a survivor um and you're teaching them what if you're teaching them whoever they are you are definitely teaching them not to not to mess with you you're teaching them not to not to ever come close unless they are coming straight all right and that is like no pun intended but that is what i'm getting you've learned to give yourself peace of mind in the midst of conflict and that requires a tough skin <laughs> it's a tough skin this is where that catapult is coming because it's like whatever this is like you're releasing yourself and the cosmos just happens to be working together with you here and so you're being catapulted out of what would have held you down in chains messages for taurus Complacency, root chakra, gratitude, third eye. At the bottom of the deck, wisdom. You could be taking calculated risks. Complacency is life force energy. So everything where we can feel like not doing anything or even being burnt out. Yeah, this is the number one card for burnout. You could be having some weapons here that's this magician and eight of wands. You see this judgment, judgment coming together is like a resurrection of the past. Okay. And how that can look, it's beautiful. It's justice in when we look at it as the end goal now the process here i'm getting for you it's it's very much sitting with pain is the root chakra complacency life force energy must be taken seriously are you standing tall in your dreams or trying to build on someone else's sadness and an ability to to disassociate from a lost dream can show up here it is time to walk away from anything that does not deeply resonate with you release and be free this is a warning not to give up beware of coasting along in a situation that is not really what you want that is not what you really want you will never be fulfilled by the unmet dreams of others how can i redefine my dreams how can i stop procrastinating finding self-nourishment leaving dreams unrealized feeling depleted time for deep rest lack of motivation holding back mm daring indomitability and reclamation so this is about your reclamation perhaps there is a this reclamation is taking you completely out of three 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 and three out of the world that you've known before like I want to call it comfortable. It could be to do with work, family. You're showing up as this empress. You're showing up like 
you've definitely come such a long way and this regeneration that is going on even in the collective you're sitting with a lot here hmm. you're a survivor lord take charge with authority so this is capricorn there could be a capricorn in the picture or even to do with ambition career yeah i'm getting four it's a lot to do with career and ambition oracle wait for important information so there is more information coming magic guardian unlock the magic within Looks like you've definitely given a lot. Whoever these are, the ones who have gossiped about you, the ones who have uh, gone, you know, in and out, the ones who have taken from you. There's a lot of healing going on here. Let's read a bit of gratitude. You are capable of more than mere mortal conversation. This is a time of enlightened communication and you will raise the consciousness of others. You are stepping into self-mastery. The gifts you see in others already live within you. Gratitude raises our vibration to a higher level. If you are unhappy in, a, in any relationship, Lucy reminds you that it is always in your power to change it. There is no mystery to being a good person. Good people just do good things. Yeah, so this is a lot to do with like friendships, relationships. The Empress, it says here, key ideas here, friendship, deep love pregnancy nurturing unconditional love towards self or others it's like someone is not taking charge here they know that they haven't taken charge and They may want to turn things around with you. They could be watching you to see where you are at. You've reclaimed your power from these situations. And now, while you are in your own process, there are people having a shift in perspective about you. So they could be missing your energy, which I'm not getting so much. It's just so, it's just valuing, they're getting to value what was right in front of them. And you have up leveled, you have, yeah, it's like you've moved on and you're working on that as well. Like everything to do with your own health and that regeneration reawakening resurrection everything to do with your return lord don't be afraid to take charge or use your voice be strong sometimes you have to take control in order to be honored hmm. if you feel that your kindness or gifts are being taken for granted it's time to change that there is no excuse for bad behavior and even the gratitude card said something like good people are good so you could be making some excuses or you have made, made some excuses for some people and then now you're seeing 
them just for what they are maybe this is just how they are so it's a form of clarity there is no excuse for bad behavior and the ancestors are encouraging you to hold your ground and speak your mind in a fiercely loving way you have the energy and might to overcome dramas or energies that aren't working for your growth and it's time to take charge before you find yourself in a situation you don't want to be in you are being encouraged to be the boss instead of being bossed this is on page 55 feels like you're taking charge oracle be open and receptive to information gather facts so that you can make a decision that is in line with your integrity angels ancestors and the universe are speaking to you at this time so look and listen for important conversations signs and messages that will point you in the right direction you are being guided to wait for more information before making any fast moves because at the moment you are letting your want get in the way of your needs there is an opportunity for you to see everything clearly at this time but you will only be able to do so if you are willing to truly open your eyes if you have been waiting for further information about a choice you have to make or action you have to take don't take matters into your own hands but let what needs to be revealed be revealed then you will know what to do next angels are supporting you trust them now i'm being guided to look at the first card that came up the moon you're really getting answers and in all of that you are staying in your it's like you are building up your it's a lot to do with illumination your confidence in in your knowing and trusting that a lot is being revealed to you this week you're being catapulted out of it could be a number of years or a time or an era where you've had to where you were held down wow let's get a card from from here locked work you want may not be in reach now you can take a temporary position while awaiting an opening your new place offers job security so there's that key and it's opening a lock there it is so there's something to do with an unlocking new life you may get a fresh start or be called to bring a new perspective to your old job you, mo you may also get a tempting job offer or new place. We did get the Knight of Cups earlier, so always apply discernment. Alright, Taurus, I'm going to stop here for now. I hope that this message was helpful and I'll see you with more videos. Do take care and much love. Bye-bye.